Poverty eradication and job creation are key objectives of the plan. Trevor Manuel insists we ignore it at our own peril. He says unlike heavily indebted countries in the European Union, we are on our own. Let me be perfectly blunt about this. If we said, well, perhaps China and India being our friends and because we are in BRICS together are going to create many investment opportunities and market opportunities for South Africa, unlike the US and Europe, my pleading would be think again. But opposition parties describe Vision 2030 as pie in the sky. They say they've seen many government plans before. I cannot see how anyone can make such optimistic projections in the conditions we are in and in the projections that we are faced with. We believe that unless President Zuma can show leadership and ensure that the plans contained in the in, in the MPC document are able to see the light of day, are able to be implemented, that all of these will amount to simply a report from a think tank. Not without the harsh austerity measures. We must not wait, wait to find ourselves where Greece is, where Italy, where Italy is going, where Spain and Portugal will soon be before doing what they've been asked to do to get their house in order. Even though they don't have much faith in Vision 2030, the minister asked MPs to read and familiarize themselves with the plan and go sell it to their constituencies. Manelisi Tubase, SABC News, Parliament.